on April 24th, I was shopping at Macy's, Friends and Family Day. I left this store right here. As I approached Fifth Avenue, four undercover cops surrounded me and demanded to see my merchandise. After verifying that I paid for the items, they said the reason why we stopped you is because you were standing in an area at Macy's where we could not see you. After I left Macy's, I went to 35th Precinct and I spoke to the lieutenant and explained to him what happened. The lieutenant informed me they was just doing their job. I said, is this their job to follow me three, four blocks and look through my merchandise? This past week, three stories appeared in the New York Daily News. The first was a 19-year-old named Trayon Christian. He was arrested after using his debit card to purchase a belt from Barney's. The second story was Kyler Phillips purchased a 2,500 handbag. And then third, a 29-year-old Rob Brown was handcuffed and detained by NYPD undercover people in this store after he purchased a watch. We are asking the New York City Human Rights Commission to initiate a investigation to determine whether there is racial profiling of African Americans at retail stores in New York City. We're asking um, all New Yorkers who may have experienced this uh, to call uh, my Senate office uh, at 718-284 4700. We want to see how widespread this is taking place. Uh, you should not go to Macy's to catch a sale and end up in jail. That's the reality. I'm a former police officer, an NYPD captain, and I know that when the laws are applied fairly and correctly, you could apprehend those who are participating in larceny type behavior. But when you target innocent people, it is extremely uh, humiliating and it makes the individual anti-law enforcement and you will never have a good public safety practice and policy if the good people of the city fear and don't respect the police officers who are here to serve and protect.